<clears throat> Hello, welcome to Maxi's Fun Time. This is Maxi, and we are back here on WoW, and uh, this is uh, part three of my um, what uh, World of Warcraft guide. Uh, we are in here in character creation. So, uh, uh, for the process we're in right here, you've already done the trial account, and you've uh, went through all the different types of classes, and you've tried them all out, and you've decided which one you wanted to be your main. You went ahead and upgraded your account, and you're ready to get your main tune up to max level. Um, for this one, you, you also you went through my other two guides, and you've looked at Horde and Alliance, depending depending on which one you picked, and you decided on a actual um, race, and you decided on your class. For this example here, we're going to do Priest. We're not going to actually make this tune, but I'm just going to show you the stuff involved in it. And once you've clicked on the race and class, you want to hit this little button down here called Customize. And again, all the information on the class is down here, and the race is down here. <coughs> so we're going to go ahead and hit Customize. Now, the two main ones you want to actually worry about on this one, and this has changed, um, is the actual color and your face. Um, your skin color cannot be changed. Okay, so the one you pick is the one you're stuck with, and I always go with the darker skinned. Is the lighter skin kind of makes me feel like she's been holed up in the in the dungeon or something. <laughs> It's like she's been adventuring, so so uh, I like the darker skin there. But uh, that's all your options there. Go through them slowly. So you want to pick the uh, the skin color you have, and um, the type of face isn't really that important, and I'll show you why later. And then you go to the hairstyle. Um, that one, and we will change the color to I like red heads. <laughs> so we go with that one, and then the piercings on the side. And this is the the settings are different depending on what race you choose. So if we go to dwarf, we will have all different hairstyles and faces and stuff. So. There we go. So uh, that, that's the basic customization, and then you go with the name. You can randomize it, and uh, you might want to click it a few times because people that randomize it probably go with the first couple of names, so uh, you don't have to worry about it. Uh, I don't know how that randomizing thing works. I don't know if it's the same names each time, so you guys can test on that and see. But uh, that's that's the main. That's how you do it, and then you just click finish once you get your character's name there. I'm gonna go back. And we're going to go into here. This is our main tune for uh, we're going to talk about the uh, UI. And uh, I'm going to show you where to go to actually change your looks if you get in the game and, and you've, you've leveled a little bit and you don't like them no more. There's a way you can actually change your the way your character looks. So we'll go over a couple of those. It shouldn't take too long. And you'll have to excuse the train. As per my videos, whenever I record, the, that's the cue for the train to go by. So, so you get in the game and you're like, yeah, I don't like this. Let's go. It's, now, on the Alliance side, it's different on the Horde side. Let me, let me cut this real quick, guys, and let this train go by. Hold on. Okay, guys. Sorry about that. <laughs> that train, man, I so hate it. Okay, so if you come up to here, we are in Trade District. Let me bring up the map. I might show you up a little bit better. We are in Trade District here. And if you come out to the outer uh, rank here, to where you cut this way to go to the next area, um, it's called the, the, it's the inner ring, but it's the outer part of the inner ring there. I don't know if that helps you. And you're looking for this little thing here, the barber pole. Everybody knows what the barber pole looks like. And what this is used for, you go in here, and then you just right click on any one of these chairs. 
And there's usually nobody in here, but if there is, you'll just have to wait. And as you can see, you change your face, hairstyle, hair color, earrings, and skin color in here now. All of those can be changed in here now, outside of the uh, um, character creator. So it does cost money, though, so just be mindful of that. And it can get expensive if you change everything. It gets up there, and the 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 level you are is dependent on how much it, it costs too. So low level will be cheaper than than a high level tune. So and then you can reset it like this, and I'll change it back to the way you had it. And then whenever you get done, like let's say we'll we'll do a diff different hairstyle. Uh. uh no, <clears throat> all these hairstyles suck for the Pandorians. Uh, let's go with that one for now. Just click OK, and then you get an achievement the first time you do this. So, shaving a haircut, <laughs> and then you're done. You just w just walk out like you normally would. Uh, a few other things. Oh, that's loud. Few other things you can do. If you don't like your outfit, you can actually keep an outfit that you actually do like. It has to be green magical gear. Okay. What happened to our face? Head up. We didn't change our face. What's wrong? No, 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 no. I didn't change my skin color either. What? Um, come on, give me my face back. There we go. Is that right? Crazy thing. I don't know what happened to that. It must have got lagged or something. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> So, if you got, got the mount, I do got the Hearthstone mount, guys. I did play some Hearthstone on this one. Just, just enough to. Uh, it's kind of loud. Let me go ahead and take that down some more. There we go. So. Come over to here. Now, um, I will show you the map again. You uh, you want to come over to the left-hand side of the Cathedral District right after the entrance little thing right here. And once you have the gear that you want, you can uh, come over to this dude right here. And it's Transmuggler. And you can put the green gear in here. Uh, let's see if we have any on us. I do not. Oh yeah, I do. I do this right here. So right now we're we we got this thing on us. If we we put this thing in here and hit apply, it does cost money here, and it's more expensive depending on the item level of thing you're trying to transmog. And we we hit uh. See how it's changed on there now, and it will show you on there what it's changing to in the little picture here. So. And you can change all your gear that way if you don't like the way your gear looks. If you if you got a certain look that you want, you can come in here. And if you're using the mage gear, the critical strike mage gear, uh, you I hate that that purple look for the mages. I just don't like it. So I always transmuggle my uh, BOAs. And you can do that. You transmuggle your BOAs. Um, if you do send them to another character. Uh, it will take the transmog off. It doesn't stay on there, so you have to transmog it every time you put the BOAs on or send it to a new character. So just be mindful of that. Um, I do have a UI video, so I don't have to go with too much. Um, if you press a B, it will open your bags and close your bags. Now remember, I have the one bag thing on. Yours won't look like this. It'll have each one of the bags will, will open individually on your screen so you just you click on one open it and then click on the other ones to open there mine 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 has the one bag so it just every time I click on it, it opens the single bag and if you want that add-on it is out of date but you can download it from the curse client so and it still works 
even though it's out of date, it still works. And then I haven't found any glitches in it, so. So, um, you in button from the map, and, and then you can close the map out too. And you can also make this the big map and the small map just by pushing this little arrow here. That's the big map. I like the small map better because you actually do stuff on the screen while you're looking at the map. So always keep it small. You can go into here and uh, change it to do to different lands with the arrow keys. So that is the the world of uh, Azeroth and uh, Drenar and uh, that lands. <laughs> You can click on them. It'll show you the different stuff. Um, if you want to move your frames up here away in your picture, you can right click on them. And you can just go to move frames and go to unlock. And then you can just move it around wherever you want. Um, if you're a healer, you might want to move your frames down. Lock. You can also reset the position. So I, I can. Uh, don't start. Sorry, guys. I don't know if the video cut out right there. I'll probably cut out again, so just give it a second. But if you go down here and you, uh, you can do, you can click on this, and it'll show you cast bar underneath. And if you unlock these frames and you move them down here, and then later on you're like, eh, I don't like this. You you can go back into here and go to reset positions, and it'll put it back up there. And you unlock it again and lock it again. You also go into here to reset all your instances. If you're running dungeons with yourself or somebody else and uh, you want to run the same one over and over again, you have to right click on here and go to reset instances and to reset the instance so you can run it through again. Otherwise, it'll stay the same one you just ran. I think it's for 30 minutes. I'm not sure about that, so uh, you might want to look that one up. Uh, loot, loot specialization you can set in here. Uh, it's currently set to fire for us because we're fire spec, but if you want to set it to a different spec, you can. So that's cool. Uh, also, you can put icons on yourself, which you don't really want to do, but it's there if you want to know. Sometimes you may want to put it like on the tank of the healer just so people can see. And once you do that, people see it in your party, they'll see it on their screen too. So You can also put it on enemies. You can target an enemy and then put a thing on them. I don't know if it works on these guys, but we can see just by clicking on her, we can right click and then see. And then everybody in your party will be able to see that that's the skull. And uh, you can use this in, in uh, dungeons to uh, mark things for everybody who knows hey, you need to kill this guy first, or you need to watch out for this dude, or like like the the cross is uh, CC, you know. You can you can name them in the chat and people will know, okay, so I. I CC the cross and then we'll, we'll, we'll try to kill this dude first. That kind of stuff. So that's cool stuff. And I um, don't know much else that we can go over. Um, I am going to go over to my Horde tune and I will have to actually get to the main city first. So it'll be a few minutes. And uh, I'll show you where in Ogamir that that place is at. Now, there's there should be in every city. So I'm not going to go to every city and show you where the tailor is at or the uh, barbershop is at. But I do want to do the two main cities. So uh, we did Stormman, and I'm going to go over and we're going to do the, uh, the Horde one. So I'll be right back. Hello, and we're back. Uh, I am here on Green Riptide. Uh, this is my horde tune. This is going to be my main tune for the horde side. Uh, you'll probably be seeing this guy a lot. Uh, I did pick up the uh, chest and the shoulders. You guys don't. You need, it's not needed. I also got the um, tanking uh, trinket. So it gives, it gives you stamina and also increases your max health 15% for 15 seconds to a maximum of 18,000 health. So those are, that's cool. And I got those. So this is the front entrance to Ogamir, as you can see. Uh, most likely you won't be coming through this entrance. You will be coming up at the top of this hill right here on the map. It's right here in the middle here. Right there's the flat path for here. 
and you'll be coming down the elevator. Or you can jump, as you can see. I just got going down. If you jump from the top of that and land just beside the stairs up there, um, it'll give you going down. You'll survive the jump. So that's pretty cool. There's also a place in uh, Stormwind you can do that at. Uh, you got to hit it just in the right spot there, though. You, otherwise, you'll, you'll die. <laughs> If you, if you go down to near the docks, a right, little tip. If you go down near the docks and uh, jump off the little middle circle thing down at the docks, um, and you land right on top of the catapult, then it will uh, give you going down. So we're going up here, uh, as you can see, at, while we're walking. We're trying to. We need to go up the stairs, I think, for this. Yeah, we need to go up this path right here. So let's go up these uh, ramps right here. It is a big circle, so you can go the other way, and it'll take you longer because you have to walk all the way around. So. Once you get up here, just follow this path around right here. And as you can see, there's the barbed pole. So you can come here and get all your stuff done. As you can see, there's still chairs here. Although they have more for some reason than, than uh, Stormwind had. <laughs> and also, uh, I'm not going to go through the different stuff for the horde uh, work, guys, because I like the way my guy looks, and I don't want to mess up like uh, like our Pandorian did. <laughs> I had to reset her stuff, which did cost me two gold. I like to throw that out there. It cost me two gold to fix a 40 silver mistake. I'm just saying. <laughs> um, the one unique thing about Ogamir is there are three different locations on the map for AHs. There's one right up here. There's an AH right through this gate up here. Let me show you on the map right here. There is an AH up here in the Valley of Honor. And there's one in the drag, which I just showed you. And then down at the entrance, there's one right here as an AH. So three different AHs. And this is a, a whole lot bigger. I don't know if it's bigger. It just seems like it's bigger than Stormwind. I don't know. I'm going to show you guys where to do the transmogle thing, and then we're going to end the episode there. And this will be my little uh, tutorial for customization of your character. Also, if you want to respec or anything like that, just go to your trainer in any other cities. I'm not going to show you everywhere where the where retrainers are or anything like that. Um, on the next episode, guys, I'm going to put this on auto run here for a second. On the next episode, guys, I am going to take my main. And uh, I'm going to have to level this guy up a little bit. I'm going to take my main and go to the, all the alliance bases or starting areas. And then we will go to all of the uh, horde starting areas. And I'm going to show them off. I'm not going to like level a tune on it like I did in my previous uh, guide. I'm just going to go there, show you where it's at, and uh, show you around a little bit. And then we'll cut to the next starting area. Um, there are a few that I probably won't get to show you uh, because I have to actually start a tune and I'm not doing that. <laughs> this right here, so if you go to the map, or right here, just before the drag, and you can't actually see a hut here, I don't believe, but uh, there's a hut here. And you go into here, and this dude on the left hand side here is the. Uh, nope. Nope, it's him. The transmugger, and he'll do the same thing as the other one. So, also for trans transmugging, if you have a sword but you want to look like you're uh, using an axe or something, uh, as far as I know, you can transmug as long as it's a one-handed weapon. So you can change it to uh, to look like it's a sword or whatever. And now you can also transmug the uh, enchantment on it. So see that see that glow on that one right there we can make it to where it looks like something else besides that we could get we could transmug it to where it has different uh, 
thing. For that one, you do have to have uh, the new uh, Warlords of Draenor expansion, and you have to have that unlocked in your base. It doesn't have to be your base, though. So if you have um, guild pe guild people, and they have, you have still have to have the uh, Warlords and um, expansion, which I don't have, and I don't plan on getting anytime soon. But uh, if you do have that, you can go into uh, your uh, strongholds. Or you can go home, go into one of your guild mates strongholds as long as they have it, and you can transmug your little enchantments and stuff. So that's cool. Just be mindful that you can do that. I'm gonna go up here. This is the main elevator down. I was telling you about. You can go up there. There's several. There's several elevators though. You know. Right here is where you want to jump off at, and you should hit right here, and that will give you going down. If you come down right here, <laughs> and uh, that's about it for today, guys. Uh, if you like this episode, make sure you smack that like button. If you subscribe to my channel, I'll send you notifications when I have new videos out, and come check them out and see if you like it. If you like this episode and you think it'll help your friends, um, there's a share tab down below. Click on the share tab, copy the link, post it in Facebook, Twitter, wherever you do social media, I guess. And I will see you guys on the next episode.